Yeah.
that I got from his administrative assistant. And I lost it. I left it at the county. I've been to Tarver today to get it. I talked to Cleet last night about it. So guess what? I ain't gonna say nothing that's on this paper. Because I think God didn't intend for me to say none of this. Um, I happen to know Cleet. And Cleet wasn't born in Edgecombe County, but Cleet had been in Edgecombe County for 20-some years. The first thing I want to say is Cleet been paving the way for us for a long time. I understand he met, was at the Highway Patrol in 1996 or 1997, right? You see people who look like us on the Highway Patrol. <laughs> uh, he was one of the first. Then he was appointed the Sheriff of Edgecombe County. Now, we've had sheriffs that look like us. I mean, it's thing, but we had. Also, guess what? He protected the government. I kind of like that, all right. He got some on. Wait a minute, I'm going to get that right. Executive protection certification training. At least we all in good hands now. But we ain't got the word. We got somebody to protect us. But I just want to say that he does that. He is a member of Thorns Chapel Church under the leadership of the Reverend Richard L. Battle. He works with the youth of that church and is very um, active in community programming. Clea has been to the Church of the Open Door to talk about drugs. I'm always asking him to send one of his deputies over here and what he gets mad at me about is I wait to the last minute and say, uh-oh, I was supposed to do this. <laughs> so Clea, I really need somebody to come. So it gives me a great privilege to do this. Before I do this, I would be remiss if I did not recognize and I might get in trouble if I don't. Commissioner and First Lady Valor Harris. You know, she paid me as well. Uh, you know, when you see a commissioner, she better recognize that. They sign your paycheck. Any other elected officials in the building? All right, all right, Valor, we cool. <laughs> Clea is proud to serve the citizens of Edgecombe County, and he takes much privilege in that. So it is my privilege and my honor to introduce my brother in Christ, my co-worker, and my friend, the Honorable Clee Atkinson. Missionary Baptist Church. Yeah. 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 Appreciate you guys. It's late in the evening. Thank you guys for sounding so great. But I came to do one thing this evening, and that is to talk about one history maker. All right. All right. That's all I come to talk about with one history maker. That's all that they count. Okay. All the rest, rest of them really don't even count. Yeah. Right. Right. You guys just said, I just came to lift up his name. Yeah. I ain't even ready to say his name yet. Yeah, okay. Because I got about four pieces of paper and I'm going to get out of here pretty shortly. But listen, the United States government, they assigned me a social security number. XXX. XX, you guys know the number of X's. And ended in 21. All right. Rocky Mount City assigns me an address with numbers at 145 South Kirkwood Avenue. Central Relief assigned me a cell phone number, 252-885-6467. The reason why I give it out because everybody got it anyway. <laughs> the county of Edgecombe assigns me a car number of 801 as the sheriff. But I'm so glad that God don't know me by a number. He knows me by a number. But the, but the Lord himself know knows name. your name. Yeah. For each of us in here today, we possess a name that's given to us by our parents. Yeah. We may have been given a name by our grandmother, our grandfather, our uncle. But guess what? There's a story in the Bible. Yeah. And I'm only here today to talk about one historian. I'm not here to talk about Martin Luther King. I'm not here to 
didn't talk about any of that today. I'm talking about one historian today. And there's a story in the Bible about a lady named Rachel. Oh, yeah. And Rachel died giving birth to her second son. And there were difficulties and complications in the labor and her delivery. How many of you know when you walk through life, you're going to have some problems? You're going to have to fight. So much pain and so much agony. And right before she died, she was giving birth. She named the boy Benoni. Uh -huh. Which means son of sorrow. Yes. Yeah. And she labeled him based on what she had experienced. Now this little boy was going through life being called the son of sorrow. All right. And sometimes people will put a negative label on you. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I walk through it day to day and people will throw jabs at you. But if you know Jesus, I got to listen to your family right now. If you know him for yourself. Understand this, hurting people end up hurting other people. Yeah. Yeah. See, when you're a hurt person, you're going to hurt other people. Yeah. But if you know how to love folks, yeah. 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 All right. All right. so a few minutes after Rachel died, her husband Jacob came rushing in. The nurse was holding the baby and handing him to, handing him to Jacob, saying, This is your son, son of sorrow. Let me, let me share this with you. Folks all across the world and in this building. If you can't do nothing with your child at age two, I can't do nothing with him at age 20, child. We've got to change some stuff. We've got to change how we've been operating. We have black history after black history. And we do the same old foolishness year after year. Come on now. Yes, sir. Change your history. Come on now. So when Jacob heard it, Heard that something came over him. He rose up and he said, No, that's not his name. No matter, no matter what he's been through in the past, my son would not be called son of sorrow. Mm -hmm. right. His name would be Benjamin, which means son of strength and power. All right. All right. Son of my right hand. Change people what we've been doing yeah. in our community. We've been doing the same. Sometimes traditions are good. Uh -huh. But if you don't change it, it's called madness. Yeah. Yeah. So Benjamin grew up a great leader. Uh -huh. Out of his family lineage came the kings of Israel and the king, one king after another. Mm -hmm. God had been given great destiny for Benjamin to fulfill. And I'm pushing God because it's late in the hour. And I don't want to hold you guys long, but listen to this. God says, he's not going to wear that label. Mm -hmm. Son right. of sorrow. No, 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 no. All right. This is what we should be doing in our communities if we want to change history. Yeah. Our babies should not be wearing some of these labels that they're, that they're wearing right now. Yeah. We gotta pray and we gotta pray hard. Where are the prayer warriors at? Not a son of defeat, not a son of disappointment. Benjamin is a son of destiny. Yes. Our children should be children of destiny. Yes. We ought to speak life into our children. Yes. yes. We ought to blow life into yes. our children. Yes. yes. I share it with people a thousand times and I'm off the cuff. People have given me more than one and two and three chances. Uh -huh. I've had probably 20 and 25 chances. Uh -huh. And when people make mistakes now, we say, Lord, don't give them no, they don't have two or three. Uh -huh. But people are giving me 20 and 25 chances. Uh -huh. This child needs, this child has seeds of greatness. Listen at the names in black history. Malcolm Little, you, we got to change some names. We got to change the narrative. Uh -huh. Malcolm Little changed his name to Malcolm X. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Alma Rita Ross changed her name to Harriet Tubman. Yes. Lou Alcinda changed his name to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yes. Michael King changed his name to Martin Luther King. Yes. A lot of folks don't even know that. I know. Somebody got to read it for yourself. Yes. Yes. Marguerite Johnson changed her name to Maya Angelou. Yes. Cassius Clay changed his name to Muhammad Ali. Yes. Listen, sometimes you need a name change. Sometimes you gotta change what you are doing. Right? Come on now. Right. How many of you want to be great? And I look at it and sometimes I hate this with my children. You ought to have greatness on your agenda every day. Come on now. I tell my young people that I work with every day, they say, why you wear a suit every day? Because I'm thinking greatness every day. When I walk out of the house every day, my hair is gonna be clean and my suit is gonna be great. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't think greatness every day, if you don't change the narrative of your life and of your community, something is wrong with you. Yeah. 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 
Something is wrong. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Amen. Maybe somebody has tried to label you as average, slow learner, not talented. God has said the same thing to you that he said to me, and like you said to little Benjamin, mm -hmm. I am changing your name. Yeah. 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 did it in the Bible. Abram, Abraham, yeah. Yeah. Hosea, yeah. Joshua, yeah. Simon, Peter, yeah. Yeah. Jacob, Israel, Saul, change what you are seeing. And year after year we have these programs and year after year we're in the same position. All right now. So yeah. with yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, The names were changed in the Bible. Because yeah. he needed he needed some change. That's right. No more son of sorrow, no more son of daughter of meteorics, no more son of broken dreams. I'm renaming you son of strength. Yes, sir. Child of victory. Yes. So remove these old labels when we start talking history. Uh -huh. Change your name to Masterpiece. Uh -huh. yeah. Change your name to being valuable. Yeah. Change your name to you're more than a conqueror. Yeah. Change your name to history maker. Yeah. These are the labels God wants us to wear. Yeah. Mm. Jerome Bettis was inducted into the Hall of Fame and start talking about names because there's only one name that I'm trying to get to because I really believe there's only one history maker. Right. We always want to be the first this and the first first that <laughs> but there's only one name that I'm getting to and I'm, I'm certain that because you guys are doing a wonderful job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to mess that up. <laughs> but Jerome Bettis said this. He said his dad when he got the Hall of Fame trophy got inducted into the Hall of Fame. He said his said, daddy sat him down and said, boy, I ain't got nothing to give you. We're a poor family. The only thing I can give you is my last name. Mm. Right. Yeah. Come on now. Go ahead. All right, man. Yeah. The only thing I can give my son in history is my name. Yeah. All right, man. All the junk that I'm going to leave behind, my car, my money, that is nothing. All right, man. Great. That's all you can give them. That's, that's so I learned, and I'm closing this thing. I've learned that people call you by many different things. Uh huh. But you are not what people call you. All right now. Yes, yes, sir. Listen, they can call you slow, lazy, and washed up, and all that old foolishness. But answer to history maker. Yeah. Answer to masterpiece. Yeah. Mm. And if you do this, I believe in the cloud today. That is your turning point. Yeah. Come on now. That is your turning point. Yeah. The bondage from the past are no longer going to have an effect on you. As you think better, you do better. Yes, sir. Yeah. My, my, my. Let me back up and yeah. Come on now. Yes. Yeah, As you think better. Yeah. And so many of our young brothers and sisters across Rocky Mountain and Edgecombe County, I, we're not putting anything to think about. All right now. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Lead us. Yeah. If mm. we're going to change the narrative and change the history, we've got to do a better job. Come on now. Yes, we are failing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are failing. Mm. And I'm tired. Yes, yes, sir. How many of you are tired? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You've got to change yes. the narrative. Yes. You've got to change history. Yes. Rewrite it because it's not working. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Lord, have mercy. I'm shutting it down. Come on now. Here's the only name that I'm getting yeah, to today. Here's the only name that I'm getting to. <laughs> Listen, and this is the name that will help me out when I was in high school. You guys know the name. It helped me out in college and yeah. even now. Yeah. Yeah. It's the name that's above all names. Come on now. Yeah. Name your heroes. Name your role models. Yeah. Name whoever you want to name. Come on now. I still reach above all those names. Yeah. She had to call even before she called her mother and father. Yeah. I know a name you better call before you call the sheriff. Come on now. Yeah. I know a name that when he speaks. Yes, sir. When Bessie Coleman was the first female yeah. in America. Yeah. I know a name that when, when she flew the winds and the waves had to yeah. 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 That's right. I know a name that wasn't even chosen by your earthly mother and father. Oh, sir. Come on now. Yes, sir. I know a very mentioned other name means salvation. Yeah. Just ask those millions of 
the slaves that came in the slave ship. Yeah. Those yeah. men and the slaves that worked in the field. Yeah. Our children don't know anything about them because we haven't taught them about them. Come on now. We think we made it. Yes. And we are the leaders and teachers and we've got to do a bit. Listen, I know a name yeah. that when trouble came to Martin Luther King, yeah. that was the one name he could call. Yeah. I know a name when your back is against the wall. Now, 
God. Who listen? Who's gonna bring back that son and daughter that we lost in the streets? Come on, Jesus. Man. Jesus. Who woke you up this morning? Jesus. Who started you on your way? Jesus. Who protected you all night long? Jesus. That's your moment in black. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir.
I have another selection by this wonderful choir, the brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Let's get my hand.
one. Yes, sir. Be the first one or the second one to show up. All right, now.
glory. Let's get ready to go. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for all that has transpired here today. Yes, yes. We thank you, oh God, that we didn't consider it about to be. We came out first of all, oh God, because we love our heritage. Yes, Lord. We came because we love our blackness. Yes. And we came because, Lord, we love you. Yes. And we thank you for what you allowed to transpire here today. We thank you for the visitation of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. And Father, because of the Holy Spirit, because we are about to part from this place, but never from your presence. And we ask, oh God, that that same Holy Spirit that visited us here in this service, Lord, let it follow us through the thresholds of this church, back into our cars. Be that help and from hurt, harm, and danger that got us here and allow that same Holy Spirit to get us back to our home safely. And Lord, when we do return to our homes, Father, we ask that we find it in the same perfect peace in which we yes, Now, may the peace of God, yes. Lord, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, yes. we ask, Lord, that you allow it to rest full and abide henceforth now and forevermore. Let every heart say amen. 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 For the last amen, Lord, bless each and every morsel. We ask, O oh God, that you allow it to be nourishment for our souls as well as for our bodies. Bless each and every hand that we say this with the last amen. Amen. Go in peace and let nothing steal your joy.